Hi, welcome to another Amanda Adams Auctions Overview. We have to improvise this auction because Tony, our regular cameraman, is in hospital. So for the next few months uh, we'll have to do it ad-lib without uh, A-list video helping us. So th this auction coming up on the 28th of March is going to be an outstanding and fabulous auction. We've got more than 10 estates, nearly 900 lots in the auction, and this you must view this one. This one, the viewing will be available on Friday the 26th of March, 12 noon to 8 p.m. Saturday the 27th of March, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday morning viewing on the 28th is 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And the auction will start at 11 a.m. So we suggest you come early, stay long. 900 lots, great lots and majority unreserved as usual. We are going to walk around the room and we're going to talk about some of the highlights in the auction. So just follow me around. We will start from the beginning as you come walk along here. Lots of oriental antiques in the auction again, Asian antiques, a large amount of crystal, interesting artworks on the wall. So just follow me around there. And along here, large collection of art and antique reference catalogues and books. Highlights of the auction, of course, will be the rare pair of uh, 1954 Grand Feverston Eleanor armchairs. These are very unusual, produced in 54 and part of 55. Low production, unusual wing, wing arms on them as well. Another highlight is a very unusual 1949 France, uh, I think it's Kafka, Paul Kafka, Paul Kafka uh, 1949 boomerang shaped table. Very unusual as well. Throughout the auction we have over 250 lots of estate jewellery from about five different deceased estates. And some of the items are very important. If you look around in the ca uh, cabinets here, you can have a look film in here. And just follow me this way. And there's a lot more in this cabinet along here. All throughout this cabinet. A lot of these pieces have got uh, insurance valuations on them, so it'll help describe them as well. And while you're looking in the cabinets there too, you can see a lot of Lolite pieces throughout the auction. And while we're looking into the cabinets here, you can also see some Balik we have in the auction, early antique derby. So have a look at some of the things in the cabinets along the way. A large amount of oriental pieces in these cabinets. So wherever you look throughout the auction, there are interesting and rare items. Lots of ivory pieces in the cabinets here. Oh, this uh, cabinet. open this. There's an extensive amount of Australian pottery, including an unusual uh, Don Bradman uh, character jug. These don't come up that often. Throughout this bottom of the cabinet, Australian pottery, Clarus Cliff in here, unusual pieces of Shelley. This one's by Mabel Lucy Atwell. There's more pieces of uh, Clarus Cliff in this cabinet. So wherever you look there's rarity and unusual items in the auction and the, these are all unreserved. More uh, interesting smalls in this cabinet. In fact, just if you film over here you can see all throughout the auction room we have got great items. Throughout the whole cabinet, through, on the walls there's lots of interesting artwork. Follow me this way around you can have a look at uh, a really unusual 19th century Russian samovar just over here very impressive these don't come up at all at auction and if you follow me around again we have so many unusual things in the auction 
there's uh, several bottles of Brian Hermitage from uh, a collection here in Lower Templestowe. For all uh, the icon collectors, we have some early Russian icons. This one is late 18th century. These are both 19th century. Guaranteed antiques, not reproductions. Have a look at this bedroom suite. This is Italian, circa 1880. A five-piece exhibition-sized bedroom suite. And ornate carving throughout the uh, wardrobe, the bed head and the foot. Matching pair of bedside cabinets and the chest of drawers as well. And even if you open up inside, you can have a look at the finish of the piece. Even the interior is all polished. It belongs in a museum, so one lucky home might own this down the track. Let's talk about art. We have a large amount of art. European art, Australian art throughout the auction. Interesting art deco uh, lino cut, American one. Over on this wall, you can see uh, quite a few collections or pieces of uh, Norman Lindsay. Over on this side of the wall, we have Aboriginal art. In fact, starting from that side of the wall onwards, this is uh, film across, you can see all the Aboriginal art along there and there, along here. We have got a very large work by David Bromley, an earlier one. Up there we have a Donald Friend from the 50s. Watercolour, wash and ink. Early Australian, some early Australian works. Including Charles Blackman, Evan Mackley's. Down across there you can see more Australian works. And in the furniture side of it, we have a large amount of interesting, unusual antique furniture, including this unusual early uh, Victorian, late William IV uh, hall table. Along here, we've got some interesting uh, display cabinets, an Art Nouveau one with uh, fruit wood inlay, uh, an early Victorian commode. There's a Victoria Burwell, that one there. Another one along here. Another one along there. Along there. Sideboards. We have sideboards as well. Large amount of sideboards. There's a mahogany one there, a flame mahogany break one there, an Art Nouveau uh, bookcase. Lovely carving on this one. Very unusual carving. And we have the unusual as well. We have got crocodile handbags in there. We have something for everyone in each auction. So it's exciting. In fact, our catalogue should be online by the weekend. And all the photographs for all the auctions have been professionally taken. And they'll be up by the weekend as well. We have got interesting uh, walking sticks and parasols. French parasols. Also, there's an interesting collection of coins and medallions, including, let's see if I can open this up. Really interesting one uh, from Tasmania, a token, presented to Alfred Solomon, uh, from Cowles Commercial Arcade, Hobart Town, 1860. Also some Georgian sterling silver in that lot too, which is unusual. Here we have an interesting collection of late Victorian and Edwardian uh, clocks, mantel clocks. In fact, it's covering across the board. There's so many pieces in this auction. It's just, I, I don't know how we're going to cope with it. It's such, such a big array. It's, it's going to be exciting. So hopefully we see you all down here at Amanda Adams Auctions and hopefully you uh, come and enjoy the atmosphere at Amanda Adams Auctions and hopefully go home with a bargain or two. All the best and hope to see you at our auction.